Boxes retrieved from former President Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago home since the beginning of this year contain top secret and national defense information, according to an affidavit released by the Justice Department on Friday. We know that the type of information that was something that the government felt would jeopardize public safety and national security if it were mishandled or viewed by people who were not authorized to see it. Some of those documents were derived from clandestine human intelligence sources, the affidavit says. These are people who are possibly overseas, who are involved in some of the most sensitive government investigations. According to the affidavit, the National Archives and Records Administration retrieved 15 boxes from Mar-a-Lago in January. A review by the FBI revealed 184 documents with classification markings in 14 boxes, including 67 documents marked confidential, 92 marked secret, and 25 marked top secret. The Justice Department got the sense from the sheer volume of documents containing this type of information that there might still be more at the premises. The affidavit is heavily redacted in the portions that would shed more light on exactly how the FBI determined that it needed to search the former president's Florida residence in early August. The government says that they contain details about witnesses in the investigation, details that could tip off a target and potentially jeopardize the Justice Department's case. A separate document released by the department said investigators relied on accounts from a significant number of civilian witnesses before searching the home. The unsealed documents also include the Justice Department's correspondence with Trump lawyer Evan Corcoran. In a May 25th letter, Corcoran laid out arguments for why Trump didn't violate any criminal laws. The letter asserted that the former president had absolute authority to declassify classified information during his presidency. There are split legal opinions about how a president is able to declassify information and what information he's able to declassify. Trump reacted to the affidavit's release in a post on his social media platform, calling it a total public relations subterfuge by the FBI and DOJ. Investigators are still seeking to understand why Trump sought to hold on to the documents they seized. The August 8th search set off a furious political response, and that intense outrage and scrutiny is not likely to die down as a result of this affidavit being released. If anything, that's only going to intensify as even more questions remain unanswered.